Hi all, it's Rio Cloud Sync. Today's discussion topic is PRT tokens. I think first things first, let's start off with what is a PRT token? A PRT token is a primary refresh token. Azure Active Directory natively uses primary refresh tokens for not just authentication across the stack, but also single sign-on. So this covers both Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure services and workloads. The key highlights for today, or the agenda for today, is when is a PRT invalidated and how do we go about troubleshooting PRT tokens? So let's first start off with what is a PRT token in a bit more detail. A primary refresh token is a security token issued by Azure AD. So in essence, it's a token issued by a, an identity management solution. In this case, it's, an Azure, it's Azure AD. In the near future, it will be Microsoft Entra as a solution. It can also be issued on Windows 10 or newer devices, as well as Windows Server 2016 and later versions. It does cover mobile devices or smartphones, including the likes of iOS and Android devices. It's based off JSON, specifically JSON web tokens, so JWT for short. It's issued to Microsoft third party brokers, as well as enable single sign-on across applications used on those devices. So it could be touching on-premise or hybrid configurations in essence. So that's a PRT token. It's a method of acquiring a token for authentication on your physical device and allowing that seamless end user experience. For example, I'm user A, I sign into my device in the morning. I'm actively using my device throughout the day. I'm not gonna receive a prompt to re-sign in because I'm actively using it and I've acquired a primary refresh token. However, it's not to say I'm user B, I've signed in in the morning, I've used my device in the morning, however in the afternoon I have not touched my device. There may be a, a situation in which your primary refresh token does lapse or expire, of which you will have to re-authenticate and with re-authenticating by, by entering your Azure ID credentials, you acquire a new PRT token, all dependent on the PRT token lifecycle and what's configured. Out of the box, it is usually 14 days. So if you're actively using your, 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 your session, it shouldn't lapse. However, if you're not, then by all means, it may lapse and you may have to re-authenticate. You can, you can reconfigure the PRT token using um, continuous evaluation by conditional access policies. However, that will be covered in, in a new, in a different session. So that's what is a PRT token, kind of the prerequisites as well as the, the kind of the use case. How can a PRT token be invalidated? It may be the user hasn't signed in, but there, there are other scenarios or situations in which a PRT can become invalidated. Of course, it could be if the user account's deleted, if there's no identity there. It could be the device is disabled in Azure Active Directory itself through, you go to the device pane here, all devices, and you may see the device is in a disabled state of which the user can't sign in, of which the PIT token is invalidated at that stage. It could be the device is physically deleted from the, from the pane itself, so it could be, okay, an admin went in here and selected delete. And with that, once again, the user can't authenticate. Okay. Alternatively, it could be an admin has came into the, the management portal, selected the user, in this example, entry user, and selected reset password. Once you hit reset password, it's pretty much the same as revoking a session or revoking that primary refresh token as and when Microsoft's services go to poll the user account 
through 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 the internet services, it will not recognize the password or the legacy password anymore, and it will be looking for that new password. And with that, that primary refresh token is going to revoke. So we've touched upon password research, we've touched upon devices and user account est um, states, okay, active or disabled. There's also one another alternative, which is the TPM. If the TPM chip is not enabled and in a disabled state, then once again, the PRT token could become invalid. I think the next stage is understanding how do we s see if the PRT token is in an active state when is it due for for release or renewal? Um, is it associated with this tenancy? And also, how do we look into the to the logs in terms of in depth analysis? First things first, I've got a remote desktop client. This is just a Windows three six five machine. Okay, we're gonna look at when the primary refresh token is gonna is going to expire. What tenancy it's associated with as well as the, 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 the high-level overview in terms of PRT tokens on this physical device itself. First things first, if we just come to the search bar, we just type in CMD. You don't need to run it as an admin in this instance. And if you're a local admin, it, it, it wouldn't matter at that point. So we just want to type in dsreg command forward slash status. That will pull up all, everything we know about this device in terms of cloud and that azure active directory join okay i.e we can see it's it's joined to an azure ad tenant it doesn't say which one at this point but we know it's joined to a, to a tenant itself if we scroll up you can see all this diagnostic data we can see sso state so single sign on state we can see it's part of azure uh, it's, it's got a prt token and it's part of azure ad so that's select to yes and it's got its PRT token. So this is an active user, they're actively using the service. We can see the PRT token updated at this time and it's got a new expiry date of, of this date here. So this works backward in terms of US format of which um, it was acquired on the 26th of the 6th and it will be released on the 10th of, of, the, of the 7th, which is July. We can also see this PRT token has a, um, a, for, a for authority for over this tenant here, which is a tenant ID. And if we go back into Azure AD, we can see this matches the tenant ID here in this case scenario. Okay. We can see there's no on-prem target, so it's not being feder federated through any type of proxy or server. This is purely uh, cloud only in this instance. So that gives us a bit of an indicative of, you know, the, when it acquired the, the, the kind of lease and when it's going to lapse and what tenancy it's associated with. If we want to do a bit more in-depth analysis on the on the logs, if we are really experiencing single sign-on issues, we can open up Event Viewer. We can go to Application, Service, uh, Applications and Service Logs. We can click Microsoft, we can click Windows, we can click Azure Active Directory, and you'll see a um, instance here for operational logs. We can select operational logs. And in here, you'll see there's a few errors, event IDs, you can export, the, export this as an, when you would like to export this. Um, but, but in essence, this gives you a high level overview of when You've acquired a uh, primary refresh token and also when it's um, expired. Um, I'm just trying to look through the logs now to see if I've got any um, examples. You can see a lot of get requests, re get requests here. Uh, found one earlier. It's not always the case when you're recording. But what I suggest you can see one there which was trying to get a, a, some on-prem configuration, trying to find a primary refresh token for on-prem. But of course, it can't see anything because there's no Azure AD Connect Sync in place. Um, 
the, the principles remains the same. Um, what I suggest you do is that you export these logs um, and just filter it accordingly um, based off of the, um, the, the connection endpoint. Um, and with that, you'll be able to see uh, the, 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 the acquisition and the, the release of the um, PRT token itself. Okay, other than that, if you have any questions, please please let me know.